Hey everybody, um, this is the second part to the Cyrex video, and um, you know what, I went back and checked to see where I left off, and then I came to make this video, and believe it or not, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, so, if you've seen a little bit of this, you're just gonna watch it again, okay? I mean, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Honestly, I don't know if it's going to be fun or not, but let's just sit back and listen, okay? I love you. Actually, go after them. After them, like you guys do me. Maybe. There, there was no ring cam footage, unfortunately. Um, it, it got weird. It got. It actually got really weird. Um, negotiating for, like, the last uh, block of Airbnb bookings. Um, like, she was more interested in selling the room, and I just wanted to get the Airbnb footage, and it was almost like a Mexican standoff. We're like, okay, well, I'll, I'll book the room when you cough up that ring cam footage. It's like, well, yeah, I just want to let you know it's available. We still got it. It's, 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 it's here if you want it. I'm like, yeah, I want the room. But I also I also want the ring cam footage too. That's kind of a, a more important than anything. Um, I don't I don't feel comfortable without that ring cam footage. It's it's of the utmost imperative. It's of it's of, it's of the utmost uh, importance. It's beyond imperative. As soon as I get that ring cam footage, I will book that room and. It, she was driving, like it took her a little, took her a little bit. Um, let me see if I can actually find the messages because it was a really bizarre exchange. Like one of one of the most bizarre exchanges that I've that I've that I think I've had in my life. Um, uh, Okay, so this was I guess this was on thirteenth. Hi, is three sixty four IRA available today? Ah yes it is, and it's ready any time today. We cleaned it yesterday. As of now it's open until Friday. Great, I'm gonna be passing through town again for a few days and I really like the place. I had one slight issue on Friday that was not related to you or to the property. I was wondering if you had access to the ring cam footage. It has nothing to do with you or the property and is completely unrelated and mildly unfortunate. Yes, what happened? Which house, Ira or Height? That Ira should be in about duskish on, on Friday. I'd say about 6.30. Some strange guy used to know when I lived there, considered himself, quote unquote, the king of Akron, appeared and put me in a position where I had to defend myself. He's an actual insane person. Uh, what time can I check in, by the way? Shoot, stand by. I was in a meeting. I think it booked, but we have another house open. What day are you coming there tomorrow? I'm trying to figure that out at the moment. Bear with me. Thank you for your patience. We have a house down in Barberton available also. 225 29th Northwest Barberton. Let me look at the cameras. Okay, can you send me links to available properties as well as the ring cam link? Thanks again. And she sends the link and it was very nice. This is the only one still open this week. Oh wow, very nice. Yes, it is, one of our nicest. We are booking fast. So let me know ASAP. And I send her like a, a link or a screenshot that I'm on the way. I'm on the way. You know, so so this is the real deal. Like I'm coming here. Um, I'm in route. Okay, and this is where I started to get like a little bit tricky with her. Send me a request for the fee on PayPal with the ring footage and I will pay immediately. Thank you. Like... I was like, okay, so you send you send me uh, 
the ring cam footage and I'd be more than happy to pay you. I, I, that's, that's done deal. Done deal. Like I'll, you give me that ring cam footage and I'll pay you just about anything that you want. Um, and she says, I'm not sure I can send ring footage. I can try. What is your PayPal address? It should be in your PayPal under Nicholas Beagler. Okay, and how many days are you booking? So I can tell Debbie, just one for now, and the ring cam. Thank you, Mark. And, and I also sent her uh, like a how to access the ring cam footage uh, on, on the support thing. And she says, okay, I'll have to do it when I park. I'm driving. So the night stay is $100 and the cleaning fee is 85. So 185, I can't log into PayPal because Patrick has the login. He's on a job and doesn't have his phone handy. So I just sit there and I, I let her just sit there and, and stew and think about it. Um, I can log in to ring soon enough. Okay, thank you. It was a strange encounter. I'm about a hundred miles out. Um, then I guess she called and uh, I, you know, like I explained to her like, yeah, so there's this guy, he thinks he's the king of Akron. And she told me like, wow, I, I thought that LeBron James was the king of Akron. I'm like, well, yeah, that's what, that's what most people think. That's what everyone thinks, but, but not Chance Wilkins. And I, I said that I used to live there and he, I had to deal occasionally with this insane person. Um, and, uh, like I started to get, she, she seemed to enjoy it, but like, um, wait. Okay, so then, yeah, then I guess, then I guess it just ended up being booked. Um, you were assaulted by a retarded neighborhood bully? Yeah, 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 yeah. Long story short, he's not on the ring cam. He's not on the ring cam. Um, uh, Pittsburgh Pete was, uh, Mr. 38 was when he dropped off the burrito and then the DoorDash deliveries were, were on there. But, um, unfortunately, Cyrox was not, which is a goddamn shame. You guys would actually fucking see that I'm not a bad person. That everybody Somebody admits what he's done. That's the thing. If you would just come out and admit what you... Okay, you silly, lovely people. I know the difference. I know that there's a recording of them talking, and then this is a different video. So, I was just making a joke. <laughs> so, yeah, I know the difference. Done. Okay? And here's the thing, man. Do you know how many times I've said that? Like, consider, considering what it was worth, uh, I didn't want to handle it. It wasn't close enough to trigger the cam. Yeah, apparently not. Um... I didn't want to mishandle it, and uh, I, there was like a lot of strategic planning and how to approach it. Um, so I didn't want to get alienated from these properties. Um, and it's weird too, like this woman is just running her Airbnb business, and um, like we've had good relations. Uh, and you know, like if she saw the footage and there's anything on there, like there I am, just lumping up hours of planning. Yes, a thousand. <laughs> yeah, there was there was hours of planning. Like the way everything was worded, it took a lot of a lot of thought. Um, it was very. Uh, if I just knew that, like she didn't have it, I, I I don't know. I don't know, but like everything was very tactical and. Uh, Strategic development, yeah, yeah, exactly. They're apologizing for exactly. mistakes, but yet yeah, nobody you wants still to keep do making that. them. Who's this Chloe girl that Marty's talking about? Yo, does she still think that I'm Martin Bandier? Um, no, I, I think I told her that no, that he is actually my my uncle. Um, but I do work in the music industry, and uh, my dealings there are to. Uh, build and improve relations with a potential artist. And um, I don't I don't know that she bought it at all, but um, I ended up like telling her to look up Chance Wilkins of Akron, Ohio, and, and, and she 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 likes it. She she's a she enjoys it. She she enjoys it immensely. 
fuck I don't, dude. All that shit that you're seeing on the internet, dude, that's made up by Kiwi Tapes, that is made up by Wayne Kiwi Gordon. Tapes is my boy. I like Kiwi Tapes. Yeah, but guess what? They're the ones making this shit up. Kiwi Tapes, Music Biz Marty, William Glory Hall. All of those motherfuckers have a se- Yeah, you guys did see this. I'm sorry. Secret Discord server where they sit there and they contemplate about how to fuck me up next. What to make, what, how to make me flip out. That's, that's partially true. I mean, there might be a server of uh, William Glory Hall where, like, all of, all of this great pertinent and valuable information uh, comes from him. That's a fact. Big shout out to William Glory Hole. He's, he's an absolute hound dog uh, and, and beyond invaluable. About uh, next, that fucking dude Zozo, he's in on that shit, dude. That's what you need to fucking understand. I'm not the bad guy here. And for anything, I'm being victimized by... Yeah, a victim strangles his grandmother. By people like Marty every fucking day. I mean, it's pretty fucking weird how yesterday I was minding my own business, not on YouTube, not doing anything, just living a normal fucking life, minding my own business, but yet somehow rather magically my name gets brought up in his fucking title. All because I said... If you're at home minding your own business, and you said that twice, that you were minding your own business, then how do you know that your name was on somebody's title? Because you stalk everybody's channel. You sit back and you find, where can I, where can I find drama? What can I do? You do it to yourself. If you want to mind your own business, then mind your own fucking business. No, it's to I'm lure you in, and I guess it worked. But here's the thing, dude. I didn't go up on his panel, did I? No. I stayed off this fucking panel, bro. So you weren't, like, up on his panel, right? But you were down there with everybody else, seeing what people were commenting. Because you can't stay away. You should have just went up there and had a chat. You might as well. Why are you down there in the comments? What are you doing? (laughs) You need that attention, dude. You need that attention. You crave it. Just admit it. And that's the thing, man. That's what you don't fucking realize. You need to stop taking shit for what it is. Did I hear that right? You need to stop taking things for the way it is? So you want people to lie and use their imagination or what? You need to stop taking shit for what it is. Stop okay, looking at the right. fucking situation what was and start actually doing your fucking research. Dig deeper than what you're fucking digging. And you know, maybe if... Like I said, you know, I have no hatred towards you because I don't know you from, and no offense to you, but I don't know you from Adam and you go fucking hole in the ground, dude. And I'm not saying that. Dude, just, dude, I don't want you to know who I am. That's- oh my God, dude. How can you not be offended? Cyrex doesn't know you? Oh my God. Where have you been? Under a rock in a hole? What? I don't believe this is real for a second. I'm, so I'm going to post a streamer link. If, if, if this is the truth, um, that's fine. I have, I have only interest in speaking with two people, um, Cyrax and Jake Brony, and that's it. And that's it. So that's it. So if, you, if you're not one of those two people, don't click on it. There. Well, I mean, not that it would be hard to figure out. I'm just saying. Like, oh, I can oh. That's, that's not true. Oh, oh, dude, what you don't get, man, anybody can be figured out easily, dude. Like, dude. I can easily type in your number and figure out who you... No, I know it's not Jake, but there have been so many times where uh, he spelled liar wrong, but that's okay. He, he, I would say that's consistent with Jake. Um, there have been times where, like, where Candle appears and everyone's like, no way, that's Candle. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. And all the time, people are like, no way, that's the real Cyrax. No way, that's the real Cyrax. But I, I mean, like, thinking about this, I would say that it's not the real Jake because um, he likes to hide his identity. Uh, because he's a known child rapist and midget rapist there. Uh, so it, I don't I don't think it's actually you, dude. You are easily, man. The number that he called right now? This number? All right. Try it. I, I definitely live in Akron. That's... What up, Linguini God? What's up, buddy? Uh, yeah, Rupal appeared before. Like, I understand. I'm, I'm dubious. I'm skeptical. I have my observations. Um, but you have to extend them the opportunity to appear. You just have to. I'm sorry. 
This is a fucking for sure. Let's put it this way, dude. If you want to know who really put my address out there, and it's not who you think. It was Cyrax put his own address mm-hmm. out there because he wanted toys. He wanted toys. Like, that's all that he cares about. Like, so that's... You want to know really... Yeah, it was you. It was you. And Marty and them, that was actually my ex Wait. Who's that? Is ex Heather was the one who put it out there? There, that's 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 definitely not the truth. That's definitely not the truth because people were were showing up there. Um, well, we were we were sending them over there, um, and uh, you you used to put in the description of your videos because you wanted toys before Heather even moved in exactly. <laughs> exactly, GG. Exactly. Uh, you ever think about like the amount of time? Well, I, well, I guess for one, the amount of time, and less importantly, like the amount of shit that's happened in that time. Um, you know how this how this started. Uh, how where where it is? I guess like how it got there. Um, but yeah, like it's, it started off. He was just this weird guy, um, trying to not be tied down to a record contract and he was by himself. He was with his family and how they're moving in. It was, this shit is, is honestly kind of mind blowing. It's, it's really, uh, bizarre, bizarre too. And just like the scope um, and the scale of everything, like, um, like, like back then, like if, if 30 people were there, it was like, whoa, um, every, everyone's here. Every, like the, the gang's all here. Uh, I don't know. The one that passed away, she put my address out there just to get back me to say, fuck you. I'm, so I'm, I'm 90% not- sure your address was out there before that. Actually, no, it wasn't, dude. When she left here, that's when it got leaked out there. Because I basically told her to, you know, because she said some shit that wasn't cool. I've been around since the Heather days. I remember Heather. So you, but here's the thing, dude. There was a point where this is like after, like, everything went down and we were fighting. Because she was the one I say, dude, it may have looked nice on the outside. But you can't even ask my friend Matt, who is still right here, dude. When I was with Heather, dude, our relationship was fucking toxic. Yeah, I don't know much about your relationship, but I know that you do hate women. And I know that when you tried to kiss her, she almost threw up in her mouth. Like, fucking gross. But I'm guessing you left her, right? Yeah, probably. Man. You're a fucking evil monster, man. Who would want to be with you? You're toxic. You are toxic. Because I know that you're toxic. <laughs> Make me sick. And I mean... Um... Okay, I just I shouldn't have done this, but I was looking at these fucking Airbnb messages. Uh, and I just threw one out there at her. Hey, I have a question. I'm not sure if you're awake or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you used to hit her. Actually, no, I did not, dude. The real story about that shit is there was a live stream that me and Heather were doing, or were on. I can't remember if we were, like, on live There's multiple occasions. There's multiple. Multiple. No, there's not, dude. Yeah, That's yeah, all there, Oh, okay. yeah, there's one where you actually see you hit her. Yes, there is one where you no, see it. But there's that multiple where you threatened her, and you could see it. No, you want to know why, dude? Because what people don't understand is outside of YouTube, man, she treated me no, like... No, I'm not... St- here come the fucking excuses for why he hits and why he does the things he does. And I'm sorry I keep swearing, but I don't give a fuck because it's Cyrax, right? He treats women like shit. It doesn't matter what woman it is. And he has an excuse on why he hits people. Give me a break, dude. Why you fucking strangled your... What was that reason, hmm? What was the reason for that? I forgot. Spitting game. I'm not spitting game. That's not what that is. Get out of here. Like fucking shit, dude. There was a there was a uh, live stream what? that we were on. 
I'm not trying to smash. With, um, I forget who it was, but it was like oh, this really no, famous person no, off of Instagram. No. We just happened to be able to get up on their live stream. And we had watched them daily, so we knew who they were. We got up on there. You know what fucking oh, that is? No, she no. sat there and aired out our whole sex life to over a thousand. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. That's not what it is. That's not, that's not what I'm thinking. I was like, people right there in front of the world. Dude, I was embarrassed as fuck. He's not with Airbnb, lady. You ever think she was trolling? I would be embarrassed too, Cyrax. Everybody has seen that peen, and it is fucking nasty. I can't believe that it even fucking works. I can't believe that somebody would even touch it. I can't believe she probably had her mouth on it. Make me want to puke. You from the beginning? Honestly, dude, I don't know. I highly doubt she was. She did say I she was going to troll the fuck out of y'all. Those are her words, her exact words. I'm not trying to smash the Airbnb lady. I'm just not. Like, people, that's not, that's not a thing. Honestly, it's not what, you people need to get your minds out of the gutter. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was after she left here, dude. That was way after she fucking left here, man. Um, that was way She was after that. sitting with you. You even said, right on, babe. <laughs> so here's the thing, man. She when she said that shit, yeah, whatever. She wasn't referring to me. There were a couple people in the comments that she knew. But uh, considering like that happened there, I don't know. Maybe somebody will. Like this, 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 this shit just keeps growing, and more and more people are interested, and it's becoming like like very psychotic and. Uh, well, I guess who do you have to blame for that? The trolls. The trolls. People like... Uh, what was his name? Like, whatever, Lionheart and Friday. Uh, people like Ed. People like... They don't, I don't even want to, I don't even want to give them any, 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 any of my oxygen, you know? We're real fucking assholes, and she wanted to get a little bit of payback on us. I was like, hey, why the fuck not? But what people don't realize, man, is outside of YouTube, man, she treated me like fucking garbage, dude. Well, you get what you give, Cyrax. You are garbage. She really did treat me like fucking shit. Wow, that's, that's actually, uh, like, evaluating that whole relationship, it's, and that Cyrus feels like the victim, is truly mind-blowing, like, um, so, uh, well, I was gonna say, like, the onset of it, I don't know that, uh, it started off as like a lie because Cyrax believed that he was getting that big old record deal payday. Um, and that that was a thing. And if that was her incentive and that was her goal and like her, her, her hopeful gain, then shame on the both of them. Like you shouldn't abandon your kids hoping to get a big fat $20,000, never have to work another day in your life, generational wealth, record payday. Um, Granted, it's, it, it is an amount of money that you would be set forever and uh, you, you would just be like your kids, 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 kids are going to be eating beluga caviar, riding around in limousines and uh, flying in private jets. So that's something that you have to consider. Like that's just, you know, if, if that was her, her goal and her motivation, then, um, you know, that's, that's worthy of consideration. Um, but like after that turned out to be a lie, she still went there. Um, I'm just trying to think of Cyrax's side of the coin too. Like he was expecting her to bring Elliot and Leah, her, her, her kids with her. Um, you know, when, he was really looking forward to fucking them. Uh, like that was something that he was really kind of eager to do. And I guess he was a little, probably like a little upset that that didn't materialize. Um, so 
uh, I'm just trying to figure out like, well, well, both people. Well, he was. He was. Jesus Christ, Marty. He was. He used to FaceTime with a little girl. He used to FaceTime with a little girl. Um, it's, 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 it's true. He was disappointed for sure. He, he was disappointed. Like, for whatever reason, he was disappointed and sad. And so they, they, picked, they picked her up at a gas station. They, they ventured on back. Um, and uh, so there they are. Um, she doesn't have any money. Like, Sally doesn't feel comfortable funding her life. Only Cyrax's, as she's done since he came out of his retarded mother's womb, you know, who... I don't know when she uh, died in a house fire, um, but she did. And ever since then, Sally has been paying for every single one of his needs. Um, but there she is. She needs money for cigarettes and heroin and whatever else she likes and needs or wants. And she doesn't have it. She can't just be like, she can't go and strangle Sally until she gets a payday. Um, so she ended up going out and having to work, like, uh, at disgusting, this is the truth, at, like, disgusting hotels and motels, um, cleaning up after truckers come in prostitute, lot lizards. And you can laugh, you can think I'm joking around, but this is something that she ended up doing to make ends meet. And I think that that's commendable. I do think that's commendable. She didn't like it. Nobody could or would, but she went out and did it. But the whole time that she's doing this, Cyrax is being a little tomcat on the internet. This is there's no there's no lines here, there's no jokes here. While she's going out and doing this dirty dirty job, good on her. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like it's look, that's kind of guy in 2007, so wait. What? What well, so when did Cyrax end up with Sally? Because he would, he would be 16? Wait a second. Do we know when Cyrax ended up with Sally? Was it when Rupal went to prison? What? So, she died in 2007. When the fuck did he go end up with Sally? When the fuck did he end? What? Do we have any idea? Very early on. Okay, that makes more sense. Was it because she was just too retarded? Like, I'm not trying to poke fun at this, but, like, was she just, was she, like, a drooler? Um, like, so she, she was the type of woman who always had poop in her pants. Like, that was the type of person that we're talking about here. Tanj got that info, huh? Yeah, you need to send the police to 339 Lloyd Street. Cause black shooting. We have Chance Wilson making active threats of shooting people. <laughs>